This is the VOA Special English Development Report. Slums are densely populated areas of housing where people live in poverty and in dirty conditions. The United Nations Population Fund estimates that by the year 2020, a billion and a half people will live in slums. These are among the people that a group called Architecture for Humanity wants to help. Architecture for Humanity is a non-profit organization based in California. The group provides free design and architectural services to poor communities. Cameron Sinclair is the executive director. He says, Architecture for Humanity has developed a network of about 4,000 architects in 100 countries. They partner with local communities to work on projects. Cameron Sinclair says a community design process gives everyone an equal share in the project. Architecture for Humanity also provides money and skills training to build structures. In some cases, this training has led to separate micro-businesses within communities. Architecture for Humanity is 10 years old and has built about 250 structures around the world. The group is building schools in West Africa through a partnership with UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund. And it is working with football's governing organization, FIFA, to build sports centers in Africa before the 2010 World Cup. The group designed housing and community plans in Sri Lanka after the South Asian tsunami in 2004. Structures built by the nonprofit do not require electric power. Two years ago, Architecture for Humanity launched a website to make architectural plans and drawings freely available for download. The Open Architecture Network has about 12,000 registered users and 2,000 projects. Anyone can add projects and ideas to the site. Open Architecture Network Dot org. Cameron Sinclair predicts that the Open Architecture Network will one day have enough designs to fit any environment or situation. Architecture for Humanity has a budget this year of almost one and a half million dollars. The executive director says about 90 percent goes toward materials, labor, and skills training. And that's the VOA Special English Development Report, written by Jill Moss. A link to Architecture for Humanity can be found at voaspecialenglish.com, and you can find transcripts and MP3s of our reports.